We're going, we're going, we're going, we're going. Russell Gahagan here from Russell's Fishing Tech. We're out on Lake Michigan today, out of Port Washington, Wisconsin. Wanted to do a little fishing video for you guys, just to kind of do a, like a fishing report and fishing video. We will add some report to this, but as you can tell, five rods in the water, two giant king salmon. One over here, the little guy caught, we're talking 27, 28 pounds. One over here, Jason caught dad, we're talking 22 to 24 pounds. Two giant kings right off the bat, we still don't have more than four rods in the water. Great start. Stay with us today. Third fish on here. We started the trip off with a double of king salmon, big ones, as we showed you earlier. Uh, out of Port Washington right now, working that 100 to 130 foot area primarily. Tonight we're, we're not necessarily going for numbers as much as we're going to try for size. And that worked out here on the first, on the set, as we put in about 50 pounds of king salmon on the set. We got Captain Matt. Got a fish going on a 150 copper. Guessing it's a, some sort of coho or steelhead maybe. Comes the offshore planer board, then Sam's throw release tripped on the bite actually. Really nice uh, setup there. Don't have to fight the board. like that one got away. Mm -hmm. Fish on, we made a little swing to the inside there, uh, inside turn. Got as far in as 85, did not mark real well, so we're working our way back out. We're in 95 now, hit something small here on a pump handle, 10 ounce, so 111. Dragon Slayer and No Mercy. Oh, the new salmon candy fly, No Mercy. Yep. Been odd fly, man. I got a picture I didn't show you of a, I believe it's a Port Washington guy, um, Connor Bowen, I believe, with just a slop of the No Mercy fly hanging out of its mouth. It's one of those flies you look at and you just, it just looks like it'll catch. It just has that. Sort of got all the right elements. As I mentioned earlier, the fishing out of Port Washington, the fishing out of Sheboygan is absolutely on fire right now. Uh, we chose to fish some water that we knew was gonna be a little less productive on numbers tonight for the hopes of boxing four or five giant salmon. Um, and we've accomplished two of those already. There he is, middle pup is just screaming. Yep, grab that, starting to go. Do a little trip, just a tiny one. There you go, board trip, clean, good. Other 10 ounces, 91, starting to go. Yep, there we go, doubled up, yep. Looking like maybe the 111 fish might have got off. Fish got off, something small there. Still working the one that was 91 out here on a pump. Spun us up. No, he didn't. I don't know. Came undone.
missed opportunity here. We missed the last fish. Now we missed one on a double. Working the second one here. That 500 right now. That's being mad about 98. What is that? Being about 98. 97.1. 97.1, I was off a little. Water's still pretty cold, surface temp's like 54. We've got 48 down 60. So these fish are pretty aggressive yet. We've had one meat bite so far on a wire diver. The rest have been flashers and flies. I think it's been all chrome blades so far as far as the uh, Flashers and flies go, the meat rig was a green blade for the green meat rig. About 6 p.m. I think we got out here about 4 30. So we've been fishing about an hour and a half. This is bite number five, so it's pretty good. Considering again that we chose to not fish, you know, where the volume of the fish were that we knew everybody's kind of fishing straight out of port, little south, loading up on lots of bites, lots of coals, rainbows, some kings. Down speed has been between 1.9 and 2.1 so far. It's really kind of been moving around. Surface speed has been about 2.2, 2, 2, 2 3. We were on a, uh, south, or excuse me, a north troll to start. Uh, we turned around and that's when we popped that double there that we just had on here. That's what we're working the second one of and lost one. This is on a south troll. Matt's getting ready to take the board off for William. Stable here. You can have to keep reeling just like you are. Yeah. You can have to go to the 
You know, nice part about fishing in a 20 foot boat is we've got a lot of room here to be able to back up and things like that. You can see we obviously got quite the spread out for a 20 foot boat. So, anybody that's a crossover fisherman, if you like walleye fishing and you like salmon fishing, you can definitely uh, you know, do both in a 20 foot boat. Got that pump handle coming up here, so it was a double on pump handles. Matt's going to take that 10 ounce weight off. That one's got a 10 ounce, it was out 91, the other one was a 10 ounce out 111. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that weight. I'm going to make a fish really cold, okay? This one, Blue Chin, Matt. Roger. This is a Blue Chin Music Flasher with, I think, a Mercy Fly on it. I'm not 100% sure. It could be Illumination. I'm pretty sure it's a Mercy. Yeah, I actually remember it is a Mercy. What is this? Steelhead? Huh? You haven't seen it? No. Seems down weird. Lake trout? It acted a little bit like a big steel initially. What is it? Salmon? Yep. Looks like a two year old. Lift up, William, lift up. Got him. Yeah. It's actually got a little fish. It's a nice fish. Yep. Nice two year old king, about 70 pounds. Fish. Mercy UV, RGB blue chin music. RGB, I don't know where that came from. Ooh, I know BS. It ripped the rod completely over out of the holder. We've got a bunch of big marks on the screen right now. Uh, what we have going on here is a fish that is about to spool us on a 200 weighted steel. It will not settle in. This is on a test flasher that we. Uh, just come out with here, Sam and Candy. Just come up with. We're not even open. Yeah, we're, we're, we're literally going to get full. We're going to get full. We got a full out. I'm into the bottle. You have to turn something. What a bite. What a bite. What'd that run off? It was right over a thousand. <laughs> thousand feet. Yeah, it went back over to zero. All right, all right, coming back. Even with this fish, you gotta be reeling all the time. No matter what, just reel. You're gonna get tired. Just reel, okay? Matter of fact, here's what we're gonna, well, that's not gonna work. Yeah, just reel. You're good there, though. What a strike. Those don't happen. That one, I think it was about 400, 380 on the counter, and it was over a thousand. Yep. There you go. It's a very active fish. We can run at him, we can come away. You see that rod tip start, start to kind of go up a little bit. You clack it up, you really got a reel then. The last time I saw the mono on that reel was when I put the braid backer on it. I haven't seen it since. But now I got another good look at it. It was pretty scary. So we're finding a few of the bites that we're looking for here. Um, what, what's important about tonight, I think, is that we have sort of a weird east, just a little bit of a roll, but what I've noticed is 
And maybe Jason can pan out towards those planer boards for a second. Keep drilling, but I know you're pulling. Keep drilling. There you go. Um, see how that middle planer board, if you can see it in the picture, is dragging back. Matt, Matt thought originally, which I did too for a second, that maybe he was tangled. What we have is a, a, a very weird current. And what's happening is because of his inside two boards have more weight on them, they're getting pushed in because they're not playing into the side as much, which makes it look like he's actually almost tangled. And what I found here is that we needed to get a little more east in our troll. And when I got that troll right now, we've had three bites in 10, 15 minutes. So it's really important to get the angle right, to get the rods to look right. And we've now got them to look correct and, and we're getting the bite. So two things I think that are the most important things about salmon fishing, way more important than location, of course you need to be in the general area, uh, is speed where your lures are. So Matt got his downrigger down 60 feet. Uh, the bulk of our lures are in that 40 to 60 range, I would say, that we have out, the bulk of them. Uh, so we're covering the bulk of our, our lures with that speed so we know what, they're, what the speed is. And then the other thing is angle. It's all about the angle. If you have the rods only looking good on one side of the boat, you're really only fishing with half your rods all the time. And that's, that's a really big problem. So getting the right angle allows you to fish with all the rods. We've got four people on board tonight. We're running 11 lures. I'm running a big fish blade on my wires so I don't have a double diver over there just because it can be a tangled mess. Well, there's really good news about this, Matt. Your braid at the end there was a little bit cross pulled. It's not anymore. <laughs> One way to fix it. Your entire reel is now going to be on straight. And the easiest way to fix that is hook a 22 to 25 pound salmon on the end of it and let him do it for you. This is, as I said, a new test flasher that I'm sure we're going to come out with. We actually tested it on. He just made the decision about seven or eight minutes yeah. ago. I think it got piled right. We tested it on the Fish Sticks charter boat, uh, which is my buddy and my boat out of Sheboygan. Uh, we tested it last week, had some success on it, so I taped one up real quick before I came to port tonight to fish with Matt, Jason, and William. And it's a, it's a you know, it's sort of a variation of what's been, in my opinion, the hottest flasher in the state of Wisconsin this year so far for Kings, which is the Stud UV Salmon Candy Flasher. I've got more pictures of my phone that people have sent us with Giant Kings on that flasher than any other flasher I know of. So uh, this is a variation of it. Uh, probably at the end of this video, I'll show everybody uh, a little shot of it. Or actually, I guess we could do it if, you know, if we get this fish in, we could probably show a shot of it then. And something we'll probably have in stock here in the next week or so I would say. How we doing buddy? Good? We're under 700. Barely got the camera off. Matt got his two boards in, and I don't think you had walked away from that second board for 30 seconds. And you walked over by me sitting in the chair, and it was just like, boom.
Russ, how could we have prevented the rod from almost getting ripped out of the holder there? Was it, was it something just to check the... No, what the issue just was was that, and it's, I don't know why or how, or I'm not even sure if Matt knows, but, uh, you know, he had, he had some cross pull going on on that reel. I don't know if he had a line, you know, level line out of it uh, at one point, and now it's working again. He had that reel fixed or something at some point, but deep, deep down in the reel, it was cross pulled. And what that meant is that it took a lot of pressure to, to fix it. Basically, the musky story you were telling before, yeah. identical. The difference was, you know, I knew that and I yelled it real quick and Matt was real quick to be able to open up and free spool the reel and let that fish start going. And once he started going, it kind of, you know, got the line going out. So the nice part now is that- Right here. Yep, keep going, buddy. Right He'll be on the slider. Yep. He's on there, but he got away. That was 61 down on a rigger. Pretty decent fish, but by the way, it wasn't a big thing, but it was a sailor. Yeah, that's What do you know? The two versions of Chrome stud go off. Yeah. So that flasher we've been talking about that, in my opinion, been the hottest king flasher in the state of Wisconsin 2020 so far. I've got it in my hand, just had a fish on it. That's the uh, salmon candy chrome stud, which is right there. And William's fighting a giant king, a giant king on another version of it. We've actually made a few versions already. We've made a Mountain Dew stud. We've made a Lake O stud. We've made a purple stud. But William Sultan to give you the newest uh, member of the stud family here. Right away, buddy. Okay. that downrigger wire out of the way, get it up towards the top of the surface. Keep the rod tip up, buddy. There you go. Gotta be tired, but just keep going. Take another step to your right foot. Your arms ever get this far playing Fortnite? I'm guessing not. We're gonna be doing a Fortnite dance if we can land this thing, I'll tell you that much. I'm not sure what a Fortnite dance is, but my guess is you could probably find it on TikTok. <laughs> right. I got a TikTok account. Now I don't know what TikTok is, but you know what Fortnite is, or I know what Fortnite is, and you know what TikTok is. We'll, we'll put it together a couple of times. Hard to believe this fish is not done, folks. Cold water, these things are aggressive. Still pulling line out from time to time. 
said it shot on the surface back there. Doing great, yep, good job. Fast on the reel. There you go, now you're caught up. Nice job. See it stays out of that 300, it's right in that ballpark. It stays up high. I see him up there. Right on top of that 300. Yeah, but he's up high. He's still peeling line. I mean, Unbelievable. Incredible. Unbelievable. He's going to make basically a third run. He's back there right now. Yep. Good job catching up on him. Refuses to give up. Let's see who gives up first, William or the fish? We're going to find out. You can rest as soon as he hits the deck, bud. I just heard William take his first breath, so I think maybe <laughs> since the thousand foot. Line. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, he's yeah, you took a big a, gasp of air. Down to 130. Get in our divers and plug. I'm exhausted. I didn't reel him in. Take a look at him here. Holy oh, moly, yeah. This is another mega. Definitely north of 20, way north of 20. That's here's in the that, mid-20 range. Here's that flasher we're talking about. So blue stud. It's gonna be a new addition to the salmon candy lineup, along with all the other Woo. stud family flashers that we're running. And this is definitely 21, 22 pounds. Beautiful fish. We had that double on the pump. There he is, another one. 
take it. <laughs> Another streamer. William, William, where are you, man? Oh god. Where did I throw my player on the ground? Another monster. I don't think he's a monster, but it's a nice fish. Blue shin. You wanna go hold the camera for a minute? Or are you gonna hold the fish? Oh okay. just add some reel this one in if you wanna take the camera for a minute. Okay. There you go. It's tired, not that tired. Yeah. Did it work trip? It did. It got wrapped. There's that one. 21, 20 yeah. pound king, nice yeah. thick fish. Yeah, he's right on the 20, 21 mark. Punch a rod out that way, William, and reel? Yep. What we're doing here is we're shuffling pump handles. So this board, for whatever reason, got caught. So we're going to have to fight the board along with the fish. Not what you hope for, but then your inside pump, you can sneak out underneath it to the best of our ability. Mercy, you be fly on there? Yeah. So in my opinion, one of the top two best flies I've ever used. Mercy UV that just caught and Mercy UV that just got shallow. Does this like it's his day job? I mean, just comes out day after day and catches giant king salmon. We're doing the L live a lot of service, Matt. We really are taking these giant We're kings doing out here. We're doing our part. It's working. This is what conservationism is all about. Spoiled literally a foot from the boat. Like I saw it back come out of the water when you were talking. I see the splash up there, but yeah. They're in here. He's fighting a big king? He's fighting a challenge. You hear them yelling from 
here. So something big is happening. Good or bad, I don't know. I can hear them yelling. Probably gonna need you to take out. He knew I was coming. Matt coming. He knew I was coming. <laughs> that is incredible. Let's fire it up in here. Let's fire it up in here tonight. I'm happy I came. I'm happy you came here too, William. Really happy. You bring good luck. William held the boat record here for biggest salmon for quite a while, and he had his personal best salmon. He came out here, and it took him about the third rod that went in the water to reset his personal best. He hasn't quite got the boat record yet. But what is the current boat record? On it. 29. 29. And I don't know how big that first one was. I don't. I don't want to disrespect that fish, but I don't. I don't think it's 29, but it's not far from 29. North of 25 for sure. Yeah, for sure. I think it's approaching 27 would be my guess. It was big. This is just right down the middle. If you go to any of the Russell sem seminars over the winter, there's just absolutely nothing going on here that isn't talked about right inside there. The right tool for the job, the pump handle program, the weighted steel program, board set up, the wire divers, all just the angle, everything is talked about. And there's just no secrets here, there's nothing fancy. Keep real, 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 real. Everything is just right down the middle. Okay, right down and stick with Okay. Roll it, okay. Got down, real, 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 real. Stand back here again. Throughout 91. Yep. I'm gonna get to the to the weight, which I'm gonna unclip first. Rock you on the next one. Sure. Yeah, on the next one. Get your hand up a little bit. Not the uh, 25 pound range, but it's a very, very nice adult salmon. It's to be in that 15 pound range, I would guess. Yeah, you got to do up and left, my man. Got them. We own them. Big fish. Another big show. Not as not as big as the first three, but I mean nothing to complain about. That's a 16, 17 pound king. Beautiful fish on a Mercy UV Santa Candy Fly. Uh, blue chin RGB propane flasher. And we're gonna give Jason a break, so we'll catch up with you on the next fish. <laughs> 